evening and thanks for joining us. Controversy continues days after the University of Hong Kong Students' Union apologized and withdrew a motion warning a man who stabbed a police officer before taking his own life. This as the chief executive demanded more action from HKU. That prompted HKU to sever ties with the student body. Hair-raising and shameful. That's how Chief Executive Carrie Lam described the now-withdrawn sympathy motion by HKU Students' Union to mourn the death of a man who stabbed a police officer on July 1st in Causeway Bay. Even though they apologized and retracted this statement, the university, they should continue to take action. And so they did. Just hours after the CE's comment, the university condemned the student union's action as blatantly whitewashing violence. It took the unprecedented step of announcing that HKU refuses to recognize the student union's role as an independent registered organization within the university. It will also take further action against students concerned. HKU Council Chairman Arthur Lee revealed the university management has invited the National Security Department of the Police to look into the matter. Replacing the student union's role for now will be a dedicated team set up by HKU to coordinate and handle students' activities. The saga led to mixed feelings for this former HKUSU president. I feel very upset that uh, Hong Kong USU haven't been uh, now will not be recognized by the university authority, but I think there were another uh, new bodies to represent the student uh, being organized. Because uh, at the end of the day, the student needs a, a society to represent them as long as it doesn't uh, infringe the one country, two system concepts. Back in April, the university already distanced itself from the union by stopping the collection of fees on behalf of the student body and stopping its management rights of facilities. Last Wednesday, the HKUSU Council passed a motion thanking the sacrifice of the 50-year-old man who stabbed a police officer before taking his own life. In a swift U-turn, the union retracted the resolution within two days. HKUSU apologized with a number of union executives and council members stepping down amid pressure from the HKU management and the government. Police sources say three more people have been charged on national security-related grounds in connection with a pro-independence group returning valiant. Among the three is a 15-year-old student who was reportedly arrested yesterday. Meanwhile, one of the suspects is reportedly receiving medical attention. Earlier this month, the force uncovered a cache of explosives and chemicals in a Chim Sha Choi guest house. So far, 14 people have been arrested over the suspected bomb plots, with six being charged for allegedly violating the security law. U.S. President Joe Biden will reportedly issue a warning within this week to companies about the increasing risks of operating in Hong Kong. Beijing says it strongly opposes the action, calling it political manipulation. Shen Tang reports.